All right, what up, y'all? It's your boy, CB, man. Um, I'm going to keep this nice and short, you know, because what I'm about to say, you know, when it all comes and boils down to it, at the end of the day, me as a Saints fan, I'm sitting my ass on the couch and going to be watching the Atlanta Falcons playing the Super Bowl tomorrow um, against the Patriots. And I'm not throwing no jabs against the, um, you know, I'm not throwing no jabs against Matt Ryan or nothing like that, but I just wanted to, um, you know, y'all to get some opinions, you know. Like I said, I'm not going to be, I'm not hating on bro, you know, because, you know, he won the MVP, so, you know what I mean, he won the MVP, but what blows my fucking mind is how the fuck we got two people in my division that had MVPs and we got a guy like Drew Brees been putting in work and and team and, and fans in our division can attest to that one thousand percent if they being real and honest about you know this shit um can attest that Breed's been putting in work for years and you tell me he hadn't grasped one MVP one MVP but we got two cats none have Super Bowls and and then ain't about that because it's remaining to be seen with Matt Ryan, even though Cam don't got shit, but, you know, it's remaining to be seen with Matt Ryan. And I really don't know what the fucking outcome going to be tomorrow, but I ain't even going to talk about that, you know, because my opinion don't matter. I'm going to be watching the niggas play tomorrow. That's what it boiled down to. But I just want to, this MVP shit, man, I'm just, it just blows my mind that we got two guys at my division you know, got MVPs and Drew Brees doesn't even have one. That shit is fucking crazy. And it just come to question, man. Like, how the NFL determines the MVPs? I mean, what, what, the, what, what are all factors are they looking at? You know, the regular person will, will say that um, you know, a person can have numbers and shit, but um. Is their team being successful? You know, what what their team record looking like? Is the team in the playoffs that year? Is, is, is the guy leading the team to the playoffs? You know, shit like that. Brees has had a lot of high-numbered seasons. You know, stats looking good as hell, but we've been packing our bags going home. This year, an example. I think 5,200 52, um, passing yards. Clips 5,000. Um, TDs up there, pitch, um, kind of average in pitch. You know, that wasn't nothing to be happy about with a completion percentage, 70%. I mean, he had numbers and shit, but we had the career. You know what I'm saying? But what I wanted to get is um, I just wanted to really question, like, how did, how did Matt Ryan win this shit? And like I said, I'm not hating on dude. I'm not hating on dude. If you're looking at team success and individual shit, how does Matt Ryan outplay uh, Ezekiel Elliott? We talking about Ezekiel Elliott, bro, bro, rookie, um, 21 years old, and y'all can say whatever y'all want about, you know, he got a line to play. I mean. Yeah, they got a line, but the nigga got to he got to go out there and run the fucking route. I mean, the damn when it come down to it, man, he he got to do a little something. He just ain't out there. He just can't walk through the fucking shit. Shit ain't that that fucking good. I mean, where you just can just walk. I mean, nigga, he he got to do a little something too. And we all saw how athletic you know little bro was. Like I said, he's a baby, um, 21, rookie, fresh in the league, you know, starting for America's team. You know, the spotlight was on him, along with Dak, but, um, and, and bro Steele held it down, damn near 1,700 yards. And I called him the driver for us dead this past season because, you know, that's the reason why the passing game was open. Because he was able to run that shit and to open up the passing game for Dak. 
even though that he gets some respect, he got a lot to do with that success too. But I'm just saying, start with the running game. Ezekiel, he opened that shit up. And you got a little rookie that comes in and do that, and you tell me that what Matt Ryan done was better than Ezekiel? We're talking about a 21-year-old baby putting up 1,700 yards, lead his team to a 13-3 and record, tied for lead best compared to a guy that – um. Went, what, 38-7? That's been done before, a year in and out by QBs. 11-5 um, record. You know, the division was won by them, what, damn near two, three weeks left in the season compared to Dallas. They basically dominated their season. They had they clinched their playoff berth like after, what, week 10, 11, 9, 10? I mean, it was early playoff berth. And clinched the division like damn near right after that. So um, Atlanta, it, it went down to the wild really for them to even clinch the division. You know, when it came down to them and the Bucks. But um, I said it is what it is. Uh, I just don't understand. I don't get how the NFL, whoever does the voting, what, what all they looking at. I know Matt Ryan, he, he, he got a good offense around him, I know, but it's – it's damn sure not sniffing our 2011 um, Saints offense. If you go back to 2011, nobody in here can debate against um, Drew Brees should have won that shit hands down. 54, 76 passing yards, 46 TDs, 13 picks, 70, what, 71.2 completion percentage, along with a 13-3 record. And the guy that does that, and we talking about 5,000 pad yards, that it's only been, before Breeze started doing this shit, I think it was only done like once. I'm thinking once or twice. Dan Moreno done that shit once. That's what I'm saying. Shit like that. Records. And Matt Ryan, what he done, it, it's, it's nothing record on that. They offense, I think they uh, was in like the top 10 all time um, with total offensive yards. But our 2011 shit is one or two. It's either us or the Denver Broncos for a few years ago when Peyton done his shit. Um, it's, it's us one or two. I'm talking about all-time most yards total. Most offensive yards, we one or two. And then we got another year. Forgot which year. We got, we got two of our Saint seasons in the top ten, two or three. I got to check. We might have a third one in, but we got two in the top ten. So that shit is, I mean, that it's nothing, it's nothing spectacular. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not hating on the dude. I'm not hating on the dude, man. Congratulations, he won. But if you had to choose a little young 21-year-old coming in, netting up damn near 1,700 yards, Compared to Matt Ryan leading his team to 11 to 5, along with that offense, um, well, along with his numbers, I would go with a 13 to 3 team that dominated their season with a guy that put up down to 1,700 yards. I, I would go with that. But anyway, I just want to rant, man. I just can't believe it. Shit just crazy. You got. Two quarterbacks in our division got MVPs, and we got somebody like Drew Brees that's been doing this shit, the chief of, you know, this stat game and shit, um, balling his ass off, and he doesn't even have one. And like I said, you can say look at the season 2011 um, team record 13-3. 2013, we went, what, 13 was it 13? No, we won 11 to 5. My fault, but we won 11 to 5 that year. But man, that's it, man. It's your boy CB, man. I'm about to get off. I'm out.